<laughs> I give it. A, I give it a sec. All right, we are here with a beautiful man. Nonetheless, he is amazing in his own right. The fact that he beat beat out beat out a bunch of people out in CC, which is nuts. But hey, as long as you're winning, it's a good thing. As long as you're winning, it's a good thing. And hundred percent. Yeah, you got. I mean, if you win, <laughs> when you win, it feels so good. You know Especially what I don't when do? it's like a big punch up. You know what I don't do is lose. It's I actually entirely. Lose? No, I, what I don't do is lose. So like, I just I oh. always win. You always. It's win? a yeah double negative that there. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with yeah. that. As long as you win, man. But for everybody uh, up here, if you don't know who he is, this is Rich on Ships. He is a masterly skilled player. Um, if you want to, I don't have the exact one. I don't have the exact phone number that you that that pops <laughs> out for Taco. Um, when uh, if you want to send dick pics, but he will take any of them right now. So if you want to load up his Discord for it, go right ahead. He will he will love them all the same. Doesn't matter. So fine. You, yeah. you got to get rich on ships to. Get, send him those send him those dick pics because he will enjoy every minute of them. <laughs> oh, uh, dude. So I, I gotta I think the first one I gotta ask is why the hell are you streaming Marvel Strike Force? Answer me that. So why? So I think um you know I think I think a big part of it, you know, it started off as um, you know, I, I think like so like where, where me and Taco really kind of connected was um when we both started, we both kind of had the same intention of just doing like, hey, you know, like I want to help out my alliance. I want to like do things because I was always kind of, I was either like a captain or kind of always in a higher echelon of players, let's see, you know, in my area. Uh, so I was always just wanting to do something, you know, uh, productive and give back a little bit. Um, and then, you know, like then with the, with the pandemic, you know, I don't think a lot of us realized uh, how much of a toll it took on all of us mentally um, and socially, really. Um, so, and I think like it was just an opportunity for me who was naturally a social butterfly, uh, to be able to, let's say, spread my wings <laughs> a little bit more, right? Like, it's, and obviously I'm, I'm being a little facetious there, but, um, but you know, it, it was an opportunity to connect with people at a time where we were really not able to connect. Um, I did a lot actually when I was in high school, I did a lot with like audio video type stuff. Um, I'm actually a musician, so i uh did a lot with audio like a, a lot of uh recordings a lot so I, I was very familiar with all that so to be able to you know also have that experience with the audio and visual type stuff uh to be able to help people do that and help other people uh you know f get that same type of opportunity to stream and help them out uh, i think that was something that kind of uh, kept me going right hmm so a musician playing exactly what what do you blow what, what a, instrument do you okay. blow into so i feel like i feel like it's very <laughs> obvious what instrument i play because like oh, all the shit. jokes will all the jokes will make oh. all of the sense they, they just just you can take a wild guess at what instrument i play is it a flute no, the bass guitar. I was a bassist. Fuck that! It's the, nah, it's the fucking flute. Even was... Bilbo said it. You're a true cock connoisseur, so it had to be the flute. That was the guess that we were no, all going was... with. No, no. Like you know, like there's all the bassist jokes about you know, like the bassist is the butt end of every uh, butt end of every joke. I was the butt end of every joke, and I still, you know. So it's <laughs> but yeah, no, I played bass. I, I did play when I was younger. I did play saxophone a little bit. Um, Played a little guitar. I was it was never really good at it, but but bass guitar is my uh, my my where where I really uh where, where I fell in love and uh, I was also kind of like super tech. Like I built my entire bass guitar. Like uh, I, I used to have. I used to be like super techy with it. So I used to have like a bunch of pedals. I used to do all of the uh, you know I was just super nerdy with bass guitars as I am with everything else. So I mean, it's not nerdy if you build the goddamn thing. It's just. It's. I mean, it's well, a, it's no, a good I mean, skill, no, but like, I mean, I mean, it was just I, like I was just so fascinated with the technological side of it, like, like the different. Like I used to used to study like the audio engineering, so like I would understand how to like how to put how to put pedals in series. So I would run multiple pedals. I would do. Um, I would also do like a lot of sound recording and stuff like that. So like I would understand like why in a series you would put a compressor uh, after 
certain um like you'd put compressors after gains and then after the gains if you wanted to boost it you would put a booster like it was just like i i just love studying all that audio engineering stuff so it was like uh it's like a, it's a private passion of mine so no i i i kind of did the same thing i i did the same thing too i loved audio I love more audio and video equipment, video production. So I did more of, yep. hey, I'm going to just um, go ahead and start this stuff here because I, I wanted to learn how to I, – I, I like making movies, making videos, doing stuff like that. So hence why I do all this shit because I, like I like creating that stuff. And yeah, yeah. I remember a lot of the females were just like, eh, well, <laughs> fuck y'all. That's it. Let me make sure. Fuck you all. Hey, it worked out great for me in the end. I don't see. I, I've I've actually seen a few of them, and they're pretty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah tra 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 trailer park looks bad on them. I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> the trailer park is not the term for some of them. They were bad, yeah. very bad, and it's just like, wow, you guys are making fun of me for this shit, and now I can use this to do something with it in my life, whereas you are just stuck wherever the fuck you are. But hey, that's them. Yeah. That's not me. Whatever. But hey, man. I mean, audio visual is a really good thing. It works out for this. You got a, You got a good good sense of like messing with either slobs or OBS or whatever, and putting this into play. Yeah. Well, actually, it got to the point. Like, I actually, I never thought it would get to this point. But like, it got to the point where we were we were helping out so many people. Like, like a lot of the streamers that you know that maybe started in the past year. I mean, a lot of them either have. A lot of them come to me for either advice or they so it got to a point where i ended up getting so busy that i had to create a guide because i was doing the same thing i didn't have enough time in the day to help <laughs> out and like it, it to be fair like that was like a super cool kind of moment where it was like there's enough people wanting to you know want to like coming to me for help or wanting you know these different things where i actually just i'm like it's more effective for me to build a guide and then i will sit in video chat with you after and like you know clean everything up than it was to actually, uh, you know, sit there and do it because I just I ran out of time of the day. So that was kind of uh, so uh, we, we 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 still have that same guide. We still have the equipment list and everything like that that we still send. Um, actually, I got a message like two days ago, so we're going to be helping somebody else out uh, to start streaming. So it's uh you know it's just by like I, I'm I, by trade I'm more of I'm an engineer, right? So um and, and like I'm huge with like process engineering and stuff like that. So um step-by-step -step instructions and like walking through things and processes are very easy for me so to be able to put guides together like that is something that's super easy for me to do and it you know it, it took me 20 minutes one day now we have a guide that everybody can use right not a lot of people like to follow instructions but if they want to get yeah. somewhere you better read the goddamn instructions i like reading <laughs> exactly. the instructions because otherwise i can mess up that's just me i i don't mind instructions yeah. my wife looks at them like uh yeah we're just gonna look at the picture and see what happens like no that's not how it works but hey go mm -hmm. ahead test test it out let me know how that runs shoot yeah, yeah. um oh god look at that uh so we got a we got an interesting question from juice is your the pp tip pierced no, no piercing, surprisingly, which is actually, it's a really weird because um, I'm completely covered in tattoos. Like, I'm at over, like, 400 hours of tattoos on my body. Oh, my God. <laughs> my entire back is done from top to bottom. My entire leg is done. I have both full sleeves done. Mm -mm. My entire chest is done. Mm -mm. Um, I actually had to have my chest done twice, which, if you've ever had your chest done, you know that sucks. And you know how much pain I you know, went through, like, twice. Anyways, um so yeah we're at we're at about like over 400 hours in my body and um you know it, it was kind of I, I do have to say it was it was like, like my grandfather was one of my role models growing up and um <laughs> like he he had he had a few tattoos and like a lot of people in my family had tattoos and um but like it was one of those things where it's like if i was 14 and came home with a tattoo it'd be fine if at any point in my life if i was if i was 30 like well i actually am 30 but like if i if i got my ears pierced right now my grandfather would come out of his grave and rip it out of my ear oh like it's just <laughs> so like we just kind of had this thing where we just in my family we never did piercings we just uh we were just all tattooed you know so it's just kind of i you know that's just that's just kind of where we were you know Dude, I, I got enough scars on my body, on my arm. I got scars here on this arm, you know, for, well, 
because I got a fake elbow. So I got enough scars on me where I'm just like, dude, I'm great. I'm fine. I don't need that. I don't like needles. Fuck that. I, you know what, Trevor, I would do peel and stick tattoos. Maybe that's as far as I'd go. But the chest, though, I think, dude, like, oh, is oh, it? Oh, no, no. It's, it's, it's actually, painful? it's actually painful. Um, it's, uh, what is it? The, especially the collarbone here. Uh, the collarbone, like up here, like you feel it in your whole neck. It's just like a your whole your whole chest plate vibrates and everything like that. It's a it's a very uncomfortable experience. Um, my cousin's my tattoo artist, and I may or may not have told him some very inappropriate things I was going to do to him if he didn't uh, <laughs> stop. Yeah. You know, anyway, so it was there was a lot of swear words involved. <laughs> oh, like but, um, fuck you, sassy. Fuck you, sassy. Fuck you, sassy. Something along those lines. It was a fuck you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to find some. I'm gonna find a sharp object and shove it straight up your ass. You fucking asshole. Fucking fuck God you. It was just nonsense. No, no. It was. Uh, God it was damn. <laughs> but uh. God damn. <laughs> i mean i mean but, if it's um, painful like that yeah i think you'd start screaming and stream you know just screaming out whatever and be like ah fuck there's, there's also another side to that too so there's a, the the other part of that is um when i had my chest redone so this is my my, my cousin had to <sighs> he had to redo my chest the guy who i had it done initially you know anyways wasn't you know wasn't professional it wasn't super professional and i had to have like a lot of work we done but like that chest that that session where i had my chest redone was after it was a, it was a nine hour session total so i had already been tattooed for seven hours straight and it was the God. last two hours where he was redoing my chest so like all my pain endorphins and everything had already kind of subsided so i was in hours eight and nine of being tattooed and uh you know, I just, I was not, I was not a pleasant person to be around for a little while. <laughs> wow. Dude, I mean, just sitting there, we, eight hours, just like, like, it's, geez. honestly, so, okay, so, so once again, I'll never do more than six hours again. Like, that was, that was a mistake. That was 100% a mistake. Um, but, um, it's really like so i i used to get tattooed probably every two or three weeks um now like i i, I because my cousin is in boston uh whenever i go up there i try to get work done but it's honestly become a therapeutic thing for me compared to uh it's just it's something about the the buzzing of the needle uh the 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 the, the, the concentrated pain um like i said it is it is somewhat therapeutic what okay well no, I can't picture it. No, and Trevor's like a bottle of Jim Bean and some heavy metal. It goes by fast. I don't know. I don't know if it goes by fa like the well, first couple of hours you know, you, go fast or. So the thing is, is that um, when you when you drink before you get a tattoo, uh, your blood thins out a little bit. So it actually it's actually not recommended. You bleed more if you're oh. if you're drunk. Your blood's thinner, so you bleed more. Which causes a few issues, one of which being uh, it's harder for the tattoo artist to work on the area because you're bleeding so much. And two, it drains you out a lot faster. Like, you have a pain tolerance. You have endorphins and all these other things that, that will activate. Um, <clears throat> but it will, uh, like, you will eventually, if you, lo you lose enough blood, you'll, uh, you'll start fading a little bit more and not, not be able to handle the pain as much. So, God, Fuck that, dude. Yeah, I, I think... <laughs> Uh, my wife was always like hey man we should maybe we should get like you know tattoo you know our daughter's i was like our daughter's name maybe maybe my my son's name yeah. nah fuck that that motherfucker don't need no name nowhere he can figure <laughs> himself out but well no uh, trevor i think he's saying like drains you out more i mean you're gonna bleed faster plus you're gonna get tired you're gonna get more tired because your blood is thinner and you can't you won't be able to take it but this motherfucker. Well, no, because so once again, remember, I'm I'm used to being tattooed about five and a half, six hours at a time. So you you do lose blood as you're getting tattooed because they're they're breaking the skin, so you do bleed. So the the more you bleed, the less you know the the more lightheaded you get, the less uh, your body reacts to pain and stuff like that. Uh, but also, my favorite thing after getting tattooed was going out and having two beers and being hammered, like. Wow. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Shit oh shot. shit. Because you, you lose Dang. you lose a lot of blood, so like you just have like a few drinks, and next thing you know, you're like, this is the cheapest night of drinking I've ever had in my life, you know? <laughs> yeah, but then again, you know, someone takes you well, depend depends on depends on who it is. Depends on who it is you end yeah, up but, with. But I was but, so the other thing is like so pain was that pain tolerance wasn't a thing for me because uh I was a boxer most of my life as well, so 
I uh, I'm, I literally volunteered to walk into a ring and get where punched the, in the face. Where the fuck is a... all this other cr- extracurricular activities coming fu- fucking from? Like first, now we got a boxer. We got someone who plays fucking instruments. We got audio visual audio visual shit that he does. What the fuck don't you do? Uh, win. <laughs> yeah, shit, man! Holy crap! Be, be good at this game, dude. Uh, it's yeah, just no. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a really good experience. You know, it's a, uh, it's nice. I know I'll be coming to Chicago soon, so we'll hopefully get to have a. Uh... Yes, the Whoa. moment you know, the moment you know, hit me up there. Sessie's just mad because he places. was hung over for three. Sessie's just mad he was hung over for three days after we hung out. All right, like it's just. It's I just got my fault. Oh my god. Okay, look, I've I've drinking a lot. We've drown bottles or whatever and i wake up the next day perfectly fine mainly because i'll eat a shitload go to sleep wake up and i'm fine but i've never been like oh my god i need to die because the next day i'm just dead i don't no, no. i don't get that but then again yeah, but... sassy talks about it a lot i could see him being drunk for a fucking day going fuck man i shouldn't have did that shouldn't have did that no but... no we me, me and sassy did some damage i mean it was oh. uh yeah, no, we, we did a lot. We had a lot of water, lots of water. Oh yeah, lots of water. Yeah, <laughs> lots of fucking water. No, that ain't yeah. gonna be. Yeah, very... <laughs> with no with no food involved. By the way, actually, that was the oh. other thing. <laughs> well, see that, but, but see that's why I'm always eating because I know eventually at some point I'm probably going to drink if I go out with some friends or something. So I'm like, dude, I gotta yeah, yeah. eat. I gotta have something because I I think it's only happened once where I got completely hammered because I didn't eat. And these fuckers were pushing me around, taking pictures at like street poles and like outside certain restaurants because I was fucking gone. And they were just like, you have no idea the amount of pictures we have of you. Um, speaking of which, uh, in, in in respect to Sassy and to you, let's uh, let's just do a kind of a let's take a second to get a get a good drink in, get a little. Yes, yes, cheers, yes. Little, if anybody else on. is drinking out there, go ahead, drink with us or smoking because it is 420. So. Ooh, because I will God. not be around tomorrow night. I'm going to this go to the good. hockey game tomorrow night. So, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but um, but anyway, so sorry. Just so I didn't mean to take it. No, Here, no, uh, no. Bring the, question, bring the questions in. Bring what, the what questions in. Okay, so okay, so you streaming it? You streaming it? So why? What? Okay, so what? Beat out? What? What? Why do you stream MSF against some other games that you might like to play? So I think. <clears throat> So so here's the thing is I'm just recently I'm I'm just recently starting to get into more PC gaming. Mm. Um and that's something so I was always a PlayStation guy. So like I would always go and play PlayStation. So like there'd be times I'd finish streaming MSF and then I'd just go play on my PlayStation and I just didn't feel like doing that connection thing. Um mm. you know, so now like uh we were talking about it recently where like there's a few games um like there's a game like No Man's Sky that I would actually like to stream. Um, you know, some, some different things uh, that I'd like to try to. You know, we started doing the Valheim thing. We started doing, um, you know, different things like that. Where where I wanted to to do that. Um, I think the other the only thing about MSF that I really do like streaming is I can get on. It's an hour hour and a half. I can knock it out, and I'm done. Right. I'm not like. And, and, and there's like an hour to an hour and a half of content that whether it's good or bad, it's an hour and a half of content <laughs> that I can provide that I can actually, you know, be engaged, talk about, do things um, like CC was a big revival for me. Like I didn't I, I took like about a six month break and it was hard to get back into it. And then as soon as CC came around, I started just using that as kind of a um, as a stepping stone to, um, you know, get back into a more consistent schedule. But um it's an it's an easy thing to stream because you can knock it out uh you can you, you know you're, you're not you're not committed so like for instance let's say like i'm playing like uh, i'm playing like more of like a, a no man's sky or resident evil or something and i'm streaming it let's say if i get hungry uh, i can't no. just stop I gotta, i'm not gonna like stop and then start back up stream again you know because like you you almost have to keep the momentum rolling and you have to do like a three four five hour stream sometimes and like I, I work a very uh, very demanding full-time job that takes a lot of my time. So the streaming part is supposed to be fun for me, not not a uh, you know not almost a job commitment or like a, mm. I don't want to say prison, but um, it's it just it seems to be the easiest thing to be for me to do and just 
to do that. And also, like, you know, I enjoy helping people. I enjoy uh, talking shit to Pathfinder. Um, it's that's <laughs> the little things, you know. It's, <laughs> Fuck Pat Daddy. He needs to get some shit thrown at him in the morning when he's when he's jumping on. Did you did? So it was basically just laziness of like, fuck it, I don't feel like hooking up the PS4 so I can stream this, but eh, PC's there, might as well just do it. And there was, there was a lot less of a desire to, and like, like we have a very good community here, right? So like we have, um, you know, we, we all have, uh, you know, great people around us, um, except for Pathfinder. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, but uh, we all have great people around us. You know, we have, we have a great community and it's just kind of, uh, and I, I do have like a few other friends that uh, that stream other games and stuff and, um, you know, it, it's very hard to build neat, neat niches, you know, for the, for ooh, the, the word of the ooh, day, word ooh. of the day. Right. It's it's very hard to oh. kind of uh, to, to dig yourself into kind of the new game. And 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 I think that there's, you know, like we're, we're lucky with MSF where it's, it's a very smaller. It is it is actually theoretically a niche game. Um, but, you know, there, there is a smaller community. We, we all know each other. You know, I mean, like zero knows this, but like, you know, um, all the streamers we all talk to each other all the time like we we are we're in multiple group chats together we uh we send each other funny me like you know just so it's like we have like a good little community here where i think some of those other games right it's like unfortunately we all we all play i was gonna say we all love msf no we all play msf <laughs> so we all have that in common where let's say if there's like 35 40 people in your chat maybe four or five of them will like something that you else something else that you would do right like four or five of them would like another game and then another five or six would like a different game but now that community you've built of 40 is now almost subjugated down to four or five right mm -hmm. i mean so it's just yeah i love the community the community here is so different i don't know i've i haven't experienced this in other games where if the game MSF could be shit at all times. There'll be a there'll be burning fires and everywhere from you know Facebook, Twitter, fucking Snapchat, YouTube. You got Reddit just yeah. burning a hole in everybody's ass. But when you need something, this community comes together and they're just like, boom, we're just gonna come together and make sure everybody's good. And it's like you try that in some other games or some other communities. They're just like, dude, I don't know who the fuck you are. Fuck off. Dude, I've been playing with you for two <laughs> years. They're like, fuck you. I don't know you. Bye. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong? Like, it's just, it's really, it, it's a unique experience here. It's really, we, oh, it, it's just. You know, we're, we're blessed. We really are. And I think that's something that, it, it, so it's, it's very hard. I mean, like, um, you know, I think T-Dub was a very good example of that. Right. And just. And like we we love T Dub. Everybody loves T Dub, and a oh. lot of people still watch T Dub, even after he went over to WoW. But I felt like you know, like you know, T Dub went from probably you know he probably had 150 to 200 people in his chat in his chat every day, down to 30 or 40 when he switched over to WoW. And those 30 and 40 people might not have even been there. Maybe, maybe 10 people in there actually enjoyed watching WoW, but they were there for T Dub. And like, it, so the the one side of that is also a detriment to our community. Of how great our community is and just supporting mm -hmm. us no matter what we do but the other side of that is you know that there's the other 100 to 160 people that are like all right well i just i this isn't what i want to see you know so it's kind of you, you got to kind of strike a balance there right i really thought he was going to snap off when he went into wow i really did because i'm like wow he's he's just outrageously good here he was hilarious he's fun to watch he's just like he just off the wall shit and then he's like all right well i'm going to wow but okay cool and we'll watch you for we're watching we're watching i'm like it's just not giving that same i guess i guess it, the game was part of it but his attitude with the game kind of mixed it mixed all intertwined was like i want to watch this every day he's on yeah well it was just it was that was and that that's kind of the thing i mean that that can that can take you to a certain point but i think that's the thing that we see with a lot of these other games where um unless you're a part of the initial um part, unless you're a part of the initial uh like you know uh communities or if you and, and i think a lot of those communities are you know highly toxic and uh i mean i'm i'm an avid member of the amaranth community but uh <laughs> just just no no but somebody like, somebody's gonna say something now shit 
<laughs> you're screwed. You're screwed. You said something. I don't care. I don't oh, care. <laughs> me, me and Sage, me and Sage actually still talk all the time. Like we actually, we send each other uh, Photoshop pictures of like, like <laughs> it's like it'll be like uh, there'll be a, he'll send me a picture of like uh, like like a new post from Amaranth or whatever, and I'll I'll Photoshop my face next to her or whatever. It's it's hysterical, but um, <laughs> but but you know, but that that's the thing is you know it's I think we have a lot of loyal people in this community, but I mean there is there's a limit, and and I think. You know, when it when it comes to desire to to play other games, it's um, I think the the, the capabilities of MSF is we're all playing the same game, mm. we're all kind of in the same boat, you know, no no pun intended, um, but but when you look at like um, when you look at it, like you can come into my I can go into your stream and we can talk about the same things. We can talk about MSF. We can talk about, you know, we can talk about Crucible. We can talk about this. Um, where, where I think that's hard to do with other other games or other um, other other things, where we're able to connect with our community a little bit more because we're all kind of doing the same things. If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean the game. I I believe if because MSF is MSF was interesting, then MSF got really fun right around covid then they got really greedy and then it became a little bit more harder to play because they've been pushing all kind i think they they got too greedy with how it was during covid and then boom kind of slapped it over to where oh shoot everybody's going back to work but we got to keep doing the same thing like no nah, you kind of should adapt nope they kept going it and the community stood along through that whole most of the community did and like yeah yeah most community came back, but then, well, some of the community came back, and then now it's just. I think if this game was like Raid Shadow Legends, everybody would have bounced by now. They would have been gone. The well, IP does have some lore to it, and, and that's that's. I mean, definitely. I mean, like I, I could like Raid Shadow Legends might have, might be a better game, uh, systematically, but to me, I'm like, I I'd rather. Like I, I couldn't, I could never get into Raid Shadow Legends. Like I just, I couldn't do it. Like uh, other games, I just like the IP really kind of, kind of what keeps you in. It's like, like you know, we started playing that um, Lord of the Rings game recently too. You know, like to try that one out, and like that one will keep my attention because of the IP, right? But um, mm -hmm. but I was, I've also been, I'm not, you know, like uh, I've been, I've been accused of being a Scopely employee at multiple times because like I just. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I because I just don't care like I just like and and I think part of that was I mean I was I was spending I was on average about a you know three to four hundred dollars per month player right I was just Oof. spending three to four hundred dollars a month but like I always felt like I was behind right and then one day I was just kind of like um I'm like oh should I gotta tighten up a little bit and I stopped spending and I just instead of focusing on the new teams I'm just like hey you know what I don't mind being a team behind like, I don't mind taking a little extra time to get the new team built up. And next thing you know, it's like I'm my like I end up becoming a 10 times better player because I wasn't spending on new characters. Because when full teams were coming out, I was able to build up full teams. Because if I bought all the new characters, I was either trying to level them up right away, uh, use all my resources on them, and I was always depleted of resources. So I was always trying to get the new, you know, the next new character where. I'm like, hold on, wait, wait a second. I'm, before I work on this new team, I'm just going to focus on an entire team, build them, and then when I'm ready, we go to the next one. Whether that was three weeks, four weeks, whatever. And like, and then I stopped, like, I stopped feeling the stress or the pressure of just like constantly trying to be, um, try constantly trying to keep up. I just realized that like, if you don't keep up, it doesn't matter, right? You know, and and. and you know the bugs and stuff like that. none of the bugs bug me like uh, you know none of the bugs bother me none of the uh none of that stuff like i'm just i'm very like it if it doesn't negatively affect my life then i'm just kind of like oh, all right whatever i i i would i would have to say that there have been more bugs in this game that i've seen in any other game out there this has been but here's right. my other question to you like let me let me just counter question you with that <laughs> how many other games have you played for five years 
So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, there's a good, yeah, a little, see, but, but yes, a, but yes, it, it, when you think about that, when you think about it, well, cause I mean, most of the mentality of people that go, oh my God, you, you shouldn't spend money on the game like that, like crazy, crazy, but it's more like this game could be never ending with the amount of characters they have as long as the game is making money and good. They'll keep pushing out characters for you to go with, but you know, a lot of other games have a beginning, middle and end. It's pretty it, some of them are really long because they give you like you know downloadable content after you could play a few more missions but they literally have an end this game really has no end there really is no end game it's just whoever's really higher tier at the moment or the higher tc well whoever's got the better characters better teams let me say that because if they bring yeah. out 10 more as guardians or whatever they could keep going with it because there's there's a load of like they we they've barely hit the spider verse characters yet they they've got a few but they haven't really hit on a lot of them and they could bring all those out and be, just keep going by itself cuz the spider verse is like nearly a thousand characters granted a lot of them are c d z list characters but whatever they still have them and me yeah. thinking about a game that i played for even close to that no that's and, and that's kind of like it, it's the thing is like Expose it's like there's probably some physics or math equation where it's like you know ex, you know the whatever it's like your 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 perspective is going to be based off of your exposure to uh the exposure to rate of whatever what i'm saying is the longer you play the game the more you're going to be exposed to the to the mm -hmm. bugs which means it feels like it's a lot more than any other game but at the end of the day, it really, it, it, I don't know. I don't, I, di I didn't do the math. I, I don't, I don't look at this thing, but I'm like, I'm also thinking of it as just like, just from like natural statistics mm -hmm. perspective, right? You're just sitting there being like, all right, well, if I've been playing this game for five years, I've had five years worth of experience with this company, which means there's naturally going to be a lot of more us. that I've been exposed to than anything, any other game that I've ever played other than No Man's Sky, which I've actually played for. Uh, I think right around the same amount of time, five or six years, which once again, a different, you know, different type of game, different whatever. But um, that game was also super bugged when it came out, too. But regardless, it's just um, <laughs> but I think I think that's where I think that's where we we tend to lose where we tend to lose sight. And I think I think a lot of the frustration and, and actually I, I was talking about today, a lot of the frustration had come from, you know, they, they tried allowing these milestones right where it had extra things right and extra things for the kraken so if the krakens wanted to spend money the krakens could spend money and get extra things and everyone complained saying oh well we're, we can't get all the milestones it's like yeah well like you're not supposed to get all the miles you're supposed to like there's there, there's a there's a point and then what happened with this most recent uh this most recent uh raid event that's out there right now the very last milestone is the piece, right? So yep. all that complaining we did about, you know, all those extra milestones backfired and bit us in the ass because now we don't have, if you want that extra shit, you don't have the extra shit, you know, like it's, so it, it's kind of one of those, one of those catch 22s of, you know, uh, you know, were we really like, what, what were we mad about? It's like, if we got what we needed, if we got what we needed out of the milestones and then other people got extra things because they spent money, what were we really mad about? You know, it's a, so it's anyways, sorry. I don't mean to, don't mean no, to go no, down no, this no, rabbit no. hole, but no, it's, it, I, but, but I mean, the rabbit hole is there. It, it's really there. It, sometimes, I mean, sometimes the community asks for something, then they get it and they go, fuck, maybe we shouldn't have said it. Well, I think, I think I the best quote I ever heard from Reminex was, he goes, the community knows what it wants, but it doesn't know what it needs. And, mm. and I think that's a very valuable quote and the very the very best way to put it. It's we think we want certain things like we go into a game and we're like, I want all the characters. I want all the equipment. I want all the other stuff. And then like you get all the stuff in the games. You're, you're you know, you're, you're bored after 20, 20, 30 minutes like part of the the part of the game is the grind the you know the battling the the doing the cosmic crucible battles and you know tying with somebody who has a high higher tcp than you and fucking losing i'm still fucking mad about that by the way. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was bad bro that was bad 
I had like, six to, oh, was it was it was like a 10 mil TCP punch up and the guy ties with me and I lose go fuck yourself anyways um <laughs> <laughs> no but you know but like it's it's those types of things that that keep keep you entertained keep you uh pushing keep you wanting to do things right so it's surprise motherfucker I mean like okay so I'm I'm a firm. I, I did like the grind back in the day. Like when you first started, you had to blitz your mind out. However, you had to make sure you beat the blitz so that way you get the credit so you can do whatever milestones or event that they had. Now they've given us sim because we have so many goddamn blitz teams. I think we're missing the the fun of it. I guess of I doing think we're missing the point. You know, I think we're, I think we need to. I mean, there definitely needs to be a refocus, right? I mean. So here's the question is, War is a very valuable game mode, and I think War has a lot of... I've always loved War. I've always been a huge fan of War. Uh, but how do you make it valuable to people's time right now? And I think they're, I think like the steps that they've done have has really gone a long way to make War more valuable or more, uh, let's say, accessible to most people, right? Where you start with all your attacks, you do all that stuff. It's going to be a nightmare for fucking captains, I promise you that. Like, as as a leader of an alliance, like, I'm sitting there being like, we have to have somebody on duty at all times because, you know. Um, but from the average player perspective, it allows you to do war on your time, on your schedule. Um, you know, we were talking the other day, like, the auto raid launches, right? Like, we're, we're texting each other in the middle of the day because two of us are working and the other one is... Uh, <laughs> And the other one's the only one who can get on his phone and we're texting each other for somebody to start fucking raids because we're you know we, we you know we're we're trying to manage all of that shit because it's a time based thing and you know so it like, is. The, the those time things are what kind of kind of fucks you right um which is where i think they struck gold on crucible where it's like 24 hours you go your opponent goes in that 24 hours you both move on right you just you're done mm. um where it's not like oh you get you have to wait you know three hours to get some more energy and then you could then you can do more attack it's like to, to have to go constantly oh, be a part of that um switch that yeah yeah it's just i think they i think they just had enough of... war i think with the upgrades that they're gonna do are going to be very beneficial at least somewhat even even with the fact that we're gonna have all 10 we're gonna have all 10 available hits to do right away and mm -hmm. now it's a little bit based on more efficiency so even if you do all of them but you lose you still even if you clear the whole thing you still could potentially okay. lose let, let, let's let's also be honest with ourselves um the top one percent of alliances in the game are full clearing yeah that's they're it. full clearing they're full clearing oh, no, but that's what i'm saying so that that efficiency yeah. shit only applies to the top one percent uh yeah i mean well every now and then we do at least our alliance does a full clear and we're just like oh shit and yeah. some they're close and we're like sometimes, oh sometimes. Fuck. sometimes so like but like every single war you know a lot of people are not full clearing right and there are times like, like dude my alliance we, we you know we, we full cleared the other day and it was an accident like it was just it was like we we didn't mean to full clear we accidentally and it, it was actually uh bendable straws how do you accident too, which how the fuck do you accidentally <laughs> full clear it's not an accidental full clear it's like dude we won ask, yay ask ask bendable straws yay. why his alliance why his alliance just you know like just didn't didn't step up to the game but like we accidentally full cleared so like we had people like we came in they're like we're so sorry we didn't do our 10 attacks there was no rooms left i'm like <laughs> but like that's not a normal thing for a lot like i'd say 80 percent of the alliances in the game a full clear is not a normal thing right no it's so not. the only time efficiency comes into play is if it is a full clear versus full clear right so like mm -hmm. you're really that was put in place for the top 10 top top few alliances in the game to make their wars more competitive fine cool doesn't affect me um having all of your attacks and being able to do your attacks like you know we get people from all all over the place different time zones everything for people to be able to go in and get most of their attacks done without having to just that's the thing it's it's when you when you schedule like um even the blitz timers like the blitz timers are bullshit you know every two hours you can you can do a blitz so you have to set an alarm and it, it doesn't give you it doesn't give you a wind down in the game it doesn't tell you the next time you can blitz you got to go in there and figure it the fuck out on your own so 
those time restrictive things mm -hmm. where it requires you to do things on their time is what really kind of fucking pisses people off, right? Yeah, well, because they want to come into game and do whatever they would like to do at any given time and not be yeah. restricted by some timer. Kind of like how exactly. Tower is. Tower is you got a full day to do whatever the fuck you want and then it resets. If you don't do nothing, yeah. then you lose it. That's your fault, but you had 24 hours. You could have did it on the shitter. Same thing with CC, and that's yep. that's that's why... And once again, what are, what are the two most successful game modes we have right now? That CC and Tower, CC right? And like, so yeah. it's... It's well, the, I, I would, the most loved. I would change tower to where they would probably have like five or 600 levels, but the highest level you could get to, not based on points, because just dropping down and going back up, it's like, okay, cool. But those higher ones, like you'll never, you'll never see me get like a million or two million points, how some of these guys do it, because they go drop down and they go right back up, drop down, go right back up. And it's like, uh, okay. And then I'm left on like, level 63 because i i was at level 80 but my dumb ass did something stupid but i'm not all the way down but yeah. if it's tower whenever i think of a tower mode even in another game it's like the highest level you get to and here it's just like well the, the most points you get and the points are not really scalable anyway no they're it's... really really well, I think I think like a good because like you're another big scourge guy, so I know that for a fact. Um, but you know, like that was fun. Like I think I think scourges yes. were, and, I, and I'm happy they're continuing with scourges because that was a hot. You, you know, you had three or four days or whatever, and you have the opportunity to do different things to get the best possible run you could, right? And I mean, I had I think it was like three or four different top 500 finishes where. I'm, you know, at the time I was probably like a 26 mil TCP player and I was finishing top 500, you know? So it was like, it was one of those things where, and I, I did not have my teams, uh, but my hero Asgardians are still level 75, you know, but I found loopholes and I found ways to get around it. And like, I spent hours and hours like theory crafting on how to get through that, um, to get through that scourge to get the score that I wanted. And it was like, dude, like I, yeah, I, I fit with a, I forget what, I think it was the, um, yeah, the, the Red Hulk Church. I was finished, finished top oh, 500 of my Hero Asgards. Sorry, my Thor was level 80. Everyone else was 75, right? And um, at that point, I was still able to get a 3 million plus score on the, uh, on the first and second uh, scourge. And, but like, it took me time to figure that out. And like, you know, I, I I always go back to the old campaign nodes. Remember when like uh, the Doom campaigns first came out? Yeah, they were. I I liked the new content. I wish they would give better with the story, but I did like the new content when it came out. And they were somewhat difficult. That right? it was somewhat difficult at the time. At the time, it was hard because it was like, yeah. oh crap! I gotta really bring the characters that they gave me. Yeah. What the fuck? I have to build. I have to get. Hmm. I need. I need to get mercenaries. And then it was like, okay, well. So then 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 when it came down to figure it out, like. Okay, how high do I need to build my mercenaries before this works, right? And like, what RNG things, what ISO classes am I in? Like, you were like, you you were you were thinking, you were, you know, it was a different level of thought, a different level of competition where it was, yeah. you know, it, 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 those types of things are fun. Like, I'm happy. Like, I'm so excited for Nova. I mean, like, I just went through this last, um, yeah. I just went through this last, uh, this last scourge, and I'm like. Wow, like, what am I doing this for? Four orbs, you know, and like some, some yeah, shitty I don't, gear, and I'm like, I don't know why they the, haven't the, updated the rewards. That's the big thing. Yeah, and so, but, but like, I kind of like now I'm kind of sad because I'm like, there was a game mode where I like, I was like super excited and like loved doing, and I'm like loved lo loved seeing how many scourges I could fucking put on. But after after you get a seventh star, there's just really no there's no benefit of doing anything, right? Yeah, there's I I wish they would it, once you get to the champions bracket, it's just a set list. There's nothing new to it. There's no real milestone to get. It's just you do the one point five mil and you're done. So it doesn't give me any more, other than the fact that I get the normal every day. You know the normal stuff that we got before. It's not saying hey I should play this and try to get a high score again. It's not. I thought the replayability would be there, but. Once you get that seven star, it's like, eh, whatever. It's uh, we're there, big deal. Now I'm excited for Nova because it's going to be a totally different scourge. We're going to have to figure it out. We're going to have to try to put through some teams or whatever. And I know they're going to probably use the 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 teams that nobody's really got beefed up, which is going to suck. 
it's MOE and Quicksilver and M. So now you got to build up MOE even more than you need to because MOE could be 800,000 and you could still knock out Wakandans that are huge. But, what's up? But, so it's, um, but like, you know, but that's, that's, that's the beauty of it, right? It's like, but do, do you want to go now and over invest in your X Factor? No, I, I don't want to waste no, X. Don't I, don't, waste. I don't want to touch X Factor. They get there, unless they give them a stat boost, then I would do so. But yeah, I don't that's... see that coming. I don't see that coming at all. No, and, and I think that's and I think that's where we're at now. Is like we have this little bit of uncertainty now. It's like, okay, well, you know, I mean, I, I know that there, there's been a trend where um, Node Five, um, if you if you want to do it cleanly, you'll probably have to clear Node Five with just straight X Factor um because you're gonna need the rest of them for you're gonna need to do a sack with x factor in node 10 and then go in and clean up with moe like it's probably because that's been the that's been the trending pattern for the five and ten rooms um as we've as we've gone along here but um but once again it's like you know can i with level 80 x factor can i get a three million run score and i, I don't know the answer I'm not going to know the answer until it comes out. And then when it comes out, I'm going to spend hours trying to figure it out. Like, I'm going to spend more time playing the game during that time to figure out how fucking cheap I can be to, to, to actually to beat the it. highest score yes. and and then figure it out and then, you know, share that with people and say, like, hey, guys, like, you know, the, this, is, this is what I did. This is how I did it with what I have. And I got this score, you know, like, get better like be better <laughs> yeah just just yeah you gotta be uh, I, I i do enjoy the scourge it's just yeah it's starting to well now they feel i i think they made it feel more like the second time the third time it, like the third time you want to try dark dimension there's no reason to do it except for a border that's essentially it and that's what scourges feel yeah. like now where there's no big thing that we're chasing after once you get that seven star because you're in the champions bracket i if they switched it up and did more milestones or some ranking to give out random stuff they could mix it up every other time and see if people need I that mean, people might I'd jump fucking, for it i'd go i'd go ham for a t-shirt give me a t-shirt fucking i'd, I'd go mm. fucking crazy for it it's <laughs> no but <clears throat> I, I i think it's just I, I think Scopely kind of just drops the ball. They're dropping the ball here when they got a really good, fun game mode, and they don't want to update certain things with the time. Like they just they just put it out there, and they're just like, "Here you go." And there's no reason to update it because there's not like another season or anything. The only thing they see yeah. different is the next the next legendary that comes out from it. That's it. CC gets updated every couple of months, and boom, something new, fresh that we see, and we're like, "Oh yay!" Now we got to figure something out. But the other game modes are just left alone. I think I think CC. Um, I think they're learning for, with CC right now, and I think this season particularly has gone on about three weeks. Three. It's already been about two to three weeks too long. Um, and I think once they master that, where they say, "Hey, every six weeks or every eight weeks, new season," bam. They're gonna kill it, right? They're gonna, they're gonna like it, it, the the right now. It feels like this season. And a lot of people are talking about how this season feels like it's dragging on. Um, room five is just a, um, just you know, I if if I could, if I ever find the dude who designed room five, I'm punching him in the dick. Like I'm walking straight up. Like, <laughs> it's it's not even. There's not gonna be a hello. There's not gonna be a handshake. There's gonna be no. It's just it's a straight and like oh, you know. I think like you know. I'm not a small dude, so it's it's gonna it's gonna be painful. And I'm gonna and I hope everyone in the MSF community will will gain a feel like they'll be like you know like they said like the ringing in your ear like it rings you something someone's talking about you whatever. Everyone yeah. in, in the MSF oh, community is gonna get like they're gonna they're gonna everyone their their next gold orb is gonna be a like a one million drop because oh, this dude like justice will have been served for <laughs> like okay so uh, i think i i would i would <laughs> i would say to you would it be like when they mentioned the campaign nodes were the, the hard campaign nodes were coming out and i'm going all right this is probably going to be a challenge and then they came out and i was like where's the hard part of it like the hard part is well, just I, the the trait like be yeah, I got excited because of the shit that I was talking about before with the fucking um, with the things where I'm like, dude, like, I I have like you, know, you had to build up mercenaries, but the problem is now it's the way the game is. They're never going to be able to recreate that type of 
Um, they're never going to be able to recreate that type of experience again because we get new tunes, we get a raid team, right? We build all of them up to 1480, we put their T4s in, we do this, we like, we, we have, we have been trained in a way to just build people a certain way, which we weren't doing at that time. So it was like when a new team came out, we weren't building a full team. We were like, you know, mm. focusing on completely random shit or whatever. Like, and, and so now we have, we're, we're almost trained in a way where we, um, you know, we, we build and we, we build our teams a certain type of, uh, so it's like, what, what are they going to do? They, they get, are they going to make it so hard that you need level 95, uh, whatever to, to do it? And honestly, they probably should. That's probably the solution. It's like, make I... it so hard that you need a 95 team to fucking get through it because that's the only way it would actually be fun again. Right? I think I, I was expecting it to, or at least to be up to that high to where I go, okay, now I still got to build these characters to do so. And the fact that when you look at a node and you know you haven't finished it or even, or you can't get even that one star, it just makes you go, you know what? I got to build the crap out of these characters so I could beat this node so I could try to get to the next one. And hopefully, if that one's just as hard or even harder, I got to build them up even a little bit more. But I look at the fact that I can't beat that node as, oh my God, I want to play that. And I want to figure this out. I yeah, I want, want to. to do this. I want to do it. And I think they. I, I think they kind of lost that with the whole simming part with everybody saying we want to sim through everything. We want to sim through everything. I'm sorry, people. I don't want to sim through everything. If you want to sim through everything where you just want to push a button and that's it, go play Candy Crush or something. Go do that. There. Boom, 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 boom. You can press the button and you're done. I'm, I, we, the game is a turn-based battle game, which means you should go in there and battle. If you don't want to battle, walk the fuck off. I mean, it's not... Well, that's... I mean... <clears throat> That's why I like War and CC because those are those are two competitive type game modes where, like I said, like Blitz or Raids, like Raids. It's like I'm kind of like I'm getting to the point now, especially where my where my I can rate I can sim my uh, skill modes where it's like I'm simming, like I just like I'm 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 doing it's a chore, right? It's like you get the rewards and you're like you're going through it. Like I don't enjoy the raids as much as I actually don't. I mean, like it. Mm-mm. it's a daily thing so it feels like a chore so that's why it's not okay so we yeah maybe maybe 10 years ago this game would have been somewhat pl- playable because i guess the 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 gotcha part really wasn't hitting back then now it's here that's 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 why tiktok's tiktok's good the reels are good youtube shorts is good because everybody wants new content right fucking yep. now they need it right now and the raids for the most part, have become so stagnant where it's like, okay, when the gamut raids came back again, everybody was like, oh, this is gonna be shit. But then it was like, oh god, this was this is great. It's something different. I know I could kind of sim through it a little bit, but I but I gotta play it and it's fun. It's different. We simmed through everything. Yeah, we still it's just simmed through fucking everything. Simmed through everything. <laughs> but it was just something different than those other two. And if yeah. they came out with something that was stupid hard, where okay. We all know for we all know for a fact the top 150 to 500 players are going to run through the raids because they've spent enough to do so. Big deal. I don't give a fuck about them. If we could get the raids where we're going, oh shit, we're only going to be able to complete 30 percent, if that, unless we really try. I think that would push people going, oh god, we gotta, we gotta, we, you you gotta build up your game. You actually gotta play this. Well, I think I think a different way to look at it is. If raids were three times a week, like war, mm-hmm. how much more likely are you to give more of a shit about a game mode? Because once again, scarcity. So, like, basic marketing tactics is scarcity provides desire, right? Mm-hmm. So, if if you have it every single day, once again, if you if you go and let's say. If you could eat filet mignon every single fucking day with no health, no health issues, and you know, like you you, you mm. could eat it and you it, it was great and like, but every single fucking day you had to have filet mignon. You get pretty sick of filet mignon pretty quickly, right? I said, no, 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 like, let's say, like I said, we're we're even without the health mm. benefits or you know the health health bringing health into this. But the fact that you you have a fillet every few 
maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, once a month, whatever it is. The scarcity provides an extra value to that filet that when you have it, you enjoy it so much more, right? Mm. If you have a filet mignon every single day, you're enjoying <laughs> filet mignons every single fucking day. So you're enjoying something too much no, of a no, good no, thing. No, 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 I get it. Yeah, too you know, much, too like... much of a, too much of a good thing. It kind of well, because everybody gets bored of the same thing over and over, especially Versus... when it's especially when it's on, when it's the only choice. If they had multiple raids that we could choose instead of Doom or something else, we go okay. Two days out the week, we do Gambit raids, and then one day we do Doom or you know something else where we could choose and have yeah. that have that ability to choose so that way it's it's somewhat fresh then we can go Let's after something over the course of the week or whatever you decide to do over the course of the week you can only do three doom raids and three greek raids right let's say like mm. you pick when you do them you pick whatever it is you can do it like whatever it is like you, you know you you compensate the awards appropriately whatever but like so like you just you know, like, you know, the reason why is like, I, I, as as most of you, most people know, like, I, I am a sailor, like, I'm, I'm a merchant marine, so I, I sail out. It's like, I, my career started at sea. Um, what the fuck don't managed... you do? God damn, dude, we can start, he just start listing shit right here. We're just gonna keep going down. Like, what the fuck? It's just more <laughs> shit. You're just popping out. Like, well, I'm also a sailor too. Like, what the fuck? I, I so like it's part of the reason why I'm not in a more competitive alliance is my I could literally get a call tomorrow and be like, hey, you're on a ship for the next three four weeks, and it's like, it's just kind of like the yeah, you know, the, the 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 life I the life I've always lived, but um, but you know, but like part of that was always like being out at sea. I always like you always appreciated certain things a little bit more. Like you know, like you sat there, you you know, you ate the crew mess, you ate the food all the time. It's like when you finally got home and had like a home cooked meal. Dude, that was the after like I, my first first time I was out to see I was out for eleven months. The first time I got home and had my grandmother's Greek food for the first fucking time in eleven months. I dude, I'm telling you, I it was the greatest fucking time I've ever eaten Greek food in my life. <laughs> and, and and like and so like that you know, but that's 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 marketing and that's that's what they do. And Cosmic Crucible is actually going to take a hit. I promise you, cause people are people are already not liking it because of whatever. But Cosmic Crucible will take a hit because it's gonna be five days a fucking week. Mm. Three days a week is perfect, dude. It, it works out for me too because like I, I I only stream like I, I I stream it you know three days a week and it, it's great because you know I it, it just it, it gets me on a schedule. But like I don't know if I want to stream Cosmic Crucible five days a week. A two, it's like now it feels like a chore now it's it's a fun game mode but it's also fun because i have to give a shit for like one hour three days a week i think i think the other point is the fact that they're only doing it once just to test it and that they're they usually bring something out to test it out which is why they said the gambit raids were never coming back and then poof they popped the fuck up because the gamut raids. Okay, we got this ready to go. Yeah. So it's one. It's one time. I'm. I'm, no, I'm hoping. Honestly, the... if, if you do it, if you do it this way, one time, once a month, once a month, you have a, yeah. have a thirty-two person. Fine. Uh, if they, but like, part of the benefit of having it, like when, when after after my Thursday match, like I get my results Thursday night. And I figure out that I've gone three and zero because I'm the greatest person to ever played this game. Um, <laughs> but when I, you know, after I get that last result, I'm like, cool. You know what? I'm I'm good. Like I've had I've had my share. I need I need a break from CC. But then like Saturday comes around, right? Sunday comes around, and I'm like, you start itching a little bit. You're like, fuck, like, dude, yeah, I, mean, yeah. like, I want to play. I want I want some fucking CC. I want to do and, something. And that's that's the beauty of it is you you you're wanting it by saturday or sunday you know you're like i want more of this now like i want i can't wait for my monday match to start like like fuck i gotta wait till 5 p.m on monday fuck this shit like dude i want like you know you you start like you start desiring the the game and, and that's what's the beauty of cc right now minus the fucking room five bullshit that's fucking you know, the fucking asshole with fucking you know, eternals are tangled up then put it in their fucking kit <laughs> That that would make sorry. sense. I'm sorry. I'm that would, sorry. I'm I, sorry. I, I, room five. Sorry. I like room five, and then I hate room five. Of this, it depends on it depends on what they put in oh. there. I don't. Oh hey, yeah. 
Don't don't, don't put a pocket room five. Fucking oh. we found that out on Monday. Yeah, that we got it. Anyways, that was bad. Um, All right. So anybody so in chat, get, yeah. if you got if you got some questions out there, put them in the chat. We'll we'll try to read off as many as we can before we, before we hit the the rapid fire questions real quick to end, to end the night out. But I I. I think if they replace Blitz with Tower every week, changing it up, that we have different matches we got to do might bring some enjoyment to it because then we have an entire day to do whatever. We, I mean, you literally have seven days to do it if you want to do it at all. But the reward should scale at least somewhat better when you're actually getting up to those higher levels at least. Getting like, what is that, like 300 fragments for like a a teal gear orb or something is just like wow oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's that's yeah, very it's... <laughs> very bad i was always said i always said look put like even if you put like 50 or 100 fra gold fragments and 100 training mat fragments inside rta for every win people would fucking play that but you gotta win that's the thing yeah, you yeah. gotta fucking win and i like i, I don't mind i i kind of like the idea of facing somebody real i don't want to face a bot yeah, yeah. I'd rather face somebody real because I know, hey, there's a chance they might fuck up. There's a chance they might do the special instead of the ult. Where I'm thinking like, okay, the 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 AI will do the ult over the special every time if they got it. This one, he might go, no, I might not want to fuck with it this one. And then I got to sit there and think about it. Well, it I might think, change I up what other, I do. The other thing, though, I think about CC is the stakes are high, too. It's, it's a high mm -hmm. stakes game. It's like you you make one wrong move in the wrong room you love you lose you lose the match i mean th there was one time i lost a match by two points because like i specialed instead of ulted with one person and it gave me two extra points or lost me two oh. points on the turn bonus and like it's and i like the second i saw the score i lost my two points and i'm like i know the exact moment i lost those two points oh. and like but like that that high stakes that high pressure of it was just beautiful i mean i, I that I, was that was kind I, of the best i best like it and it. hate it but i like it more because the only person i could blame is me i did it Man. there's no i can't i don't have to i don't have no, to worry I, I, my alliance I, didn't do I it personally i can blame pathfinder gaming because he sabotages me on a daily basis but that's <sighs> that's a whole other conversation but yeah it, he actually talks to the devs while he he talks to the devs <sighs> while i'm playing cc <sighs> and actually uh you know changes the game while i'm while i'm playing but um, <laughs> i mean he does he does mix it up yeah he does mix it up a little bit but all right um so i got here 10 rapid fire questions basically we're gonna go ahead Ooh. and we're just i'm just uh, gonna I'm spit out either. some stuff there you just give out exactly the first answer that comes to your mind that way we can go ahead and and oh we didn't start yet i'm sorry <laughs> that could be something juice might ask that could be something juice might ask you never know all right let's go baby all right so we're going to spit this out, see what happens. So we're going to start off with something simple, but um, which moon bitch? Moon dragon or moonstone? Moon, moon dragon. Ooh. Um, who's got the bigger bulge? Hulk or Red Hulk? Hulk. Mm. Um, who, which, which horseman's better? Rogue or Milf? Milf. Not even, mm. not even close. Okay. Not even debatable. <laughs> All right. Get the fuck out of get the fuck out of my house with that shit. All right, let's go. Let's go, go Doom on. or dorm? Uh dorm. Dorm. Oof. Uh, war practice or RTA? RTA. War practice is useless because they don't add the fucking buffs. <laughs> add the buffs and then it's actually valuable. All right, to move on. Come on, next question. I'm also gonna fucking flip a table. <laughs> war or CC? CC every day of the week okay. and actually but it's sad because i do really like war like i i do mm. really enjoy war it's actually one of my favorite game modes um we're very competitive in our captain's chat about who gets the most damage but and the war mvps <laughs> but like it, it's more but like but cc is uh like i said it, cc revived my streaming uh the only reason i stream right now is because of cc so CC. okay ultron or noir <laughs> oh there you go no, no, no. there you it's, go it's, it's it's obviously ultron but there was that <laughs> slight moment in my head that just wanted to say noir just to fuck with you because i know much you love him so 
Uh, oh, I must love Noir. He is amazing. Yeah, yeah, he is no, so no, amazing. Ultron, Ultron is, uh, th- to be fair, though, I still feel Ultron, even even in his rework state with the five stars, whatever, Ultron was grossly disserviced by Scopely uh, for the, his yeah. value to the MCU versus his value in the game. Anyways. Yeah. Cloak or dagger? Ah, cloak. Cloak guy. Ooh. Ooh. And last one, blitzing or tower? Whatever, whatever is not blitzing. I, I didn't even need to hear. I didn't even. You, you could have told me blitzing or punching myself in the dick, and I picked punching myself in the dick over oh blitzing. Oh my god, Jesus! I god. fully understand why people. I fully understand why people have blitz spots. I if if somebody got banned for using a blitz spot, I actually feel bad for them because I I, I relate with them. I understand why they did it. I mean, I, I don't you. I mean, it's not a blitz spot if the the player that you're using offers it, <laughs> and you know how to use it, and you know no, how to write it. Right. I mean, I push one button and it's done. I don't have to worry about it. That's yeah, the best I mean, part, I, I so. had I had I had a macro for a little while too, but um, it was just. But you know, it's like it's just at the end of the day, it's like it, 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 if you have to. I'm a firm believer of if you have to find a way to get around doing something, they probably need to fix the thing that they're doing. You know, it's probably like, yeah, it's... like we, we shouldn't we shouldn't need to feel like we need to do something like that um, specifically for a game mode that we don't really fucking care about. So, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Blitz, but it's there. We got to use it. But. I think if they offer, I think if they did an event where you got to do like you know six or seven maybe manual blitz challenges a day, then I'd be okay with it because then it's like okay, it's a day. I got twenty four hours to do it. Something where you actually have to play the match, not just sim it, but play well, the match. Okay, so so forty forty seven rotations, right? So you sit there and you do forty seven simmed rotations, and you go and you sit there. It takes three to five minutes of your day. And then you have to do it again in two hours. You have to like you have to sit there and actually like it, it, it's there's a difference between valuable screen time and shit time, right? Like it's just it, you're 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 actively doing it to get it done. You're not doing it because you're enjoying it. You're not doing it. And that provides zero value to anybody other than you have to log into the game, which provides value to them because they can put their pop up offers and like, oh, maybe you decide to buy this shitty offer after you've seen it 500 times. No, but point of the moral of the story is if it's a in if there's zero value to the game mode and there's zero value to anything that comes along with blitz like i said i i don't care like you, you want to use a blitz bot you want to use macro dude do it actively do it oh look oh, at God. that look at this Bendy. this dude i this thought this guy gonna... look bandy <laughs> thank was... you for the raid man I, I thought I was getting off skate free, but fuck yeah, me. I thought I, I didn't know. I, I thought he was going to keep going. He was looking like he was dead over there earlier. And I'm just like, wow, he <laughs> I'm pretty, is. I'm pretty sure he he might have died for. Yeah, times I think I think but... he I, I think he died. He hit the he, he accidentally hit the raid button while he fell asleep. Star Lord had he was probably wearing a mask. It just hit it and his boom. But thank you for the so, raid, Bendy. Actually, thank you. Thank you. I know I'm on the hot street, but I asked a question earlier to Bendy. He didn't answer me. So I'm like, obviously, during sex, the mask stays on. <laughs> But does the jacket stay on or does he does he do like a full like unzip but the jacket's <laughs> like I need to know these things, Bendy. Like I listen, okay, yes, I'm on I'm the one on the hot seat, but I need I have questions for you, Bendy. Does the jacket stay on or does it is it like is it like is it is a quarter zip, a half zip, full unzip? Like Oh, oh he's a jacket oh, off guy. Yeah, jacket uh, off, yeah. No, you gotta uh, keep it on, man. Keep the if you're gonna do the whole, just do the whole thing. Fuck it. Just keep I on thought, going thought with I, it. Thought I res- thought I respected you, Bendy. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're just joining us yeah. from the raid with from Bendable Straws, thank you for the raid, Bendy. Thank you for the raid. We are here in the hot seat with Rich. If any of you guys, we were actually almost close to the end. If any of you guys have any questions right now that you want to ask Rich. Doesn't matter what it is, go right ahead. Just letting you know, channel points are disabled for the moment, but go ahead, let us know. I swear to God, that doesn't look like a fart emote. That literally looks like he's doing something else. It just no, it, literally looks like... The, the, name, the name of the emote is FAP. Oh, it's FAP? Oh, God. It's Taco FAP. Stone, if anyone tells you it's <laughs> fart, it's... 
Oh, 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 he might he might have changed the name. No, 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 never mind. Sorry. He might have uh he might have changed the name. Yeah, um, I think he changed the name. Uh we got what alliance are you in? Uh so I'm actually I'm actually the alliance captain of my uh my alliance where it, it's it's actually it's like probably one of my favorite uh it's it's we we got a good name. It's a uh, Fantastic Fours F O U R S Kin A I N. <laughs> wow there you go that's a good way to go fantastic, ahead and start looking yeah. that up fantastic foreskin um fantastic foreskin <laughs> oh wow we we tried going with full like foreskin just straight up and they uh <laughs> yeah they, they didn't allow that due to scope these terms of services so we oh what fantastic the f- fours fantastic fours like f-o-u-r-s and then space kin uh yeah benny, oh. benny got it benny got that ass beat dude. Ooh, oh there you go got it damn <laughs> but i was i was saying i was saying earlier benny i'm like we accidentally full clear you guys nobody accidentally we, we, had, we had no intention of full clearing but uh <laughs> yeah no intention but no it just one... happened it just yeah, we, happened we, we, <laughs> it's, it's, we we that's the the first full clear we've had in about like I'd probably say eight months, and uh, it happened to Bendable Straw, so get fucked, oh. Bendy. Go get some sleep. <laughs> hey, yeah, Bendy, get some sleep, man. You were on so long. I mean, you were, like, yeah. hype this morning. You were like, yeah, we're doing this, we're doing this. And then when I right before I jumped on, I looked over, and he's just like, yeah, I don't know if I'm high or I don't know if I'm sleeping yet. Like, he was just going for it, and I, th- I didn't think he was actually going to do 24 hours, but fuck. Did I, uh, oh. I went, right before I went to bed, Bendy was streaming. I fell asleep, woke up, Bendy was still streaming. I went to work, came back from work, Bendy was still streaming. I streamed, signed off a stream, Bendy was still streaming. I ch- I came on to here, Bendy is just rating you now. Like, it's... <laughs> go, go, uh, go eat the cereal, ooh. man. Go eat the cereal. What's your favorite? Ooh. So, so Windstorm, follow-up question, do you mean on War or Crucible? Because... Uh, there's two separate yeah, answers on that. Yeah, it could be it could be a different different answer. Um, yeah, but it it's start. The... My my favorite crucible defense is actually the gamma cap, right? Gamma cap in mm. room three, throw uh, some healers on so some healers on that bitch, and then uh, put cap as a fortifier. Um, <clears throat> from a defensive perspective on war, I really like. Um, God, it's um, I I like I like mixing it up a little bit, um, but I do like having the new warriors with, uh, new warriors doom and red guardian on um, on defensive war, just because it just fucks with people a little bit. It's just it's one of those ones mm-hmm. that yeah, but but I still think I I mm. like from from a crucible standpoint I like, yeah. You know what team I don't like is Heroes for Hire. They can go fuck themselves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> still to this day, I absolutely hate that team. They, they, uh, that do... that RNG can really just fuck you up. It's and, and depending on which room they're in too, if they're like in reactor or something, you're like, oh shit, yeah. this might go good. This might go up. Oh, it's going bad. Fuck it, I gotta back out. Mm-mm. Yeah, we we, we oh. already did confirm. I'm a tattoo guy, not a piercings guy. I, I do not have a penis piercing. Um, mm. it's uh. Beetlejuice was very adamant about asking if I had a Prince Albert. Um, no Prince Albert and no nipple piercings, but uh, lots of tattoos. Oh, no nipple piercings. Wow, man. Well, if, well. If so, you, okay. Yeah. If uh, Listen, I'd be lying if I didn't look into the nipple piercings or the dick piercings. Like, I've definitely <laughs> thought about it. Like, I've definitely, like, I've considered it. Um, no, no, no dick tats. Um, my entire back is done. My entire chest is done. My entire leg is done. Both arms are done. It's yeah, like I, I got a t-shirt. It's like we, we have a, uh, we're at like four hundred and something hours of uh, tattoos on my body, um, but no, n- nothing on the dick. Um, but I have absolutely considered a dick piercing and absolutely thought about nipple piercings, but I fly too much and I'm just very concerned about the TSA situation. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, oh nope, come here, sir. When, when you when you fly as much as I do and you travel as much as I do, it's like it, there, there's a certain there's a certain point where it's like, <laughs> yeah, I got a dick piercing. And then there's a certain point where you're like, it's the fifth time in two weeks. And you're like, yeah, OK, it's like, yeah, I, I got a dick piercing. You know, it's like it, there's two like 
at first it's fun and then you and then you have six flights in a span of a month and you're like oh fuck this shit <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I think that would be. Oh, I mean, if, if you know you're flying like that and you got nipple piercings, you should be like, dude, can I can I just get like on a on a on a list or something? You I just, already I, know no, where I, I say, am. Like, at that point, I would just carry a card with me and I would just hand it to the TSA agent, being like, my dick's pierced. Like just <laughs> just a card. The only thing it would say on it's like my dick's pierced. It's, it, it'd be fine. Uh, <laughs> um no no but like so it's like we, we we like i was we were sorry 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 to, to devolve down that 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 little thing but um so we, we were talking about um piercings earlier like like we grew up in a tattoo family we weren't a piercings family um all of our um what is it like i was saying like uh i have like completely covered in tattoos um if i went uh <laughs> i'm not checking out your ass raider um, but if, uh, um, if, 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 if I came home, if I came home with a piercing, like I'd have it ripped out of my ear, but like I could have came home with the tattoo at any point and just been like, yeah, okay. Just like, just normal. So it's, uh, so piercings was always one of those things where I just never really, never really got into. Um, I'm I more also of a... work at nine to, I work at nine to five, very corporate, like, uh, I'm a senior manager in a pretty prominent company. So it's like, it's very hard to get away with like lots of piercings let's say <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah you you can hide tattoos under t-shirts but like sometimes piercings get a little uh could be noticeable could be them detouring yeah. from pushing up yeah i've i've seen where there's some at least one or two where they've gotten an ear piercing or they've gotten a really good nose piercing or something and they just were not moving up nowhere because that whole stigma Once. of it of nope we don't want that Yep, you gotta play the game. That's it. Mm. Yep, you gotta play the game um, for it. It sucks, but I'm I'm actually a super lightweight when it comes to smoking. By the way, uh, Raider, uh, I don't. I've never been a big smoker. I've never. Um, like, I, it's not that I don't enjoy it. It's more of a. I've always been the kind of guy who, I take a few puffs and I'm like, all right, mm. we are good. <laughs> <laughs> We are sleeping now, you know, so I've never done it. That's like it. never Everybody's touched one. Yeah. yeah, I I like I like drinking more. It's easier. It doesn't stay in the body as long, too. But at least if I want to counteract it, I know how to do it real quick. Weed stays in your body for way too long. And I don't need that type of drama. And yeah, it's just not I don't know. Ever if people do see the appeal of it. That's great. I don't. For some reason, I just I, don't. I do. Th I do think I do think it affects everybody differently, though. That's mm. I think everybody has their own tolerance. Everybody has their own um, reaction to it and stuff. But um, for me, it's just like I take like I take two puffs. I'm like I'm eating a cheeseburger and I'm falling asleep. It's, like, it's, <laughs> it's in, in that exact order, and there's nothing else that happens in between any of those things. It's just well, fuck, man. A cheeseburger, cheeseburger sounds sleep, good right now. Cheeseburger sounds Dude. fucking good. Bacon burger. Oof. Oh, that sounds good. Oh. That sounds amazing for right now. Jesus, six four. Yeah, see, but see, Raider, I would rather drink than smoke. Everybody can drink. Everybody can smoke around me. I just rather drink. I'm the same way. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, it's just I, I, like you know. I feel like there's there are drinkers and there's smokers. I think very two different types of people. But yeah, it really is. I'm I'm I, I just happen to be which. one of them. But. We had a blast. You. Oh, yes. Let's get another cheers for you. Uh, if you have another drink, we're drinking right now. We're going to take another sip. Oh, God damn. But we were on here with Rich on Ships. We just went uh, We just went through the hot seat for it. You definitely want to check him out. Go over there and give him a follow. I put put his little link to his Twitch on in chat. Go ahead and... Go over there and just follow his ass right now. I mean, not literally follow the Twitch, not his ass. But if you want I mean, to follow his ass, that's up to you. I, it's all I up to you. I will work for you, and it does not cost anything. Like, uh, you, don't, you don't even need to follow. Just, just come into chat, just twerk. No. No. Oh, there you go. There you go. No, I no. eat Wendy's. I don't know about him. I don't know about Rich. You eat I'm Wendy's? Like, so, I, so, if I, I'm, so my guilty pleasure has always been Taco Bell. Um, I ordered <laughs> the same thing. I ordered the same thing every single time. No, no, let me explain. <laughs> It's a talk. It's a number seven, which is the chicken quesadilla. And I get a soft taco along with it. And then I order the Chipotle chicken burrito 
as a, an additional one. Chipotle chicken burrito is actually delicious, and it's actually like it's like fresh tomatoes and everything in it. Phenomenal. Uh, there's something about the chicken quesadillas at Taco Bell that fucking blow my top off. And uh, <laughs> but if my my close number two is Wendy's, a uh, nice little baconator with a with a crispy chicken or oh, a nice little crispy chicken. Mm. Oh yeah, just this. Also, Wendy's fries. I'll take mm-hmm. Wendy's fries or McDonald's fries every day of the week. I think it depends. No, I think it depends. For me, it depends on the day for Wendy's or McDonald's fries. Like sometimes I want Wendy's fries, sometimes I want McDonald's, and it's like either or. But I would go more with Wendy's only because they could stack on something with either the Baconator or like the Dave's Triple, and there's just so Ooh. much cheese and shit on it, and you're just like, oh. You're just fuck. You're just amazed by it, and then boom, you're done. Yep. <laughs> that's the jalapeno the sauce. sauce. I know. I know what you're yeah. talking about, dude. It's like that that jalapeno sauce they put on it, dude. You bite into. Oh man, dude. It, it's I, uh. It's yeah. Just I think me be, me being me being like you know I hear quesadilla, but then I hear chicken with it. And I'm like, it's not really a quesadilla anymore. It's pretty much a taco, but whatever. However you want to put it, that's pretty much what it is. They just named it something so they could get you with it. But whatever. Hey, man, whatever whatever floats your boat. I mean, if you order the same thing over and over again and people... I like it when I get the thing, like, you're not going to get nothing different. No, don't fuck with me. I want this. 11, this is what listen, I'm getting. 11.49. Do you know what 11.49 is? The exact price of the order I get when I go to Taco Bell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I know the exact price of everything I want. It's like it's it's crazy, but um. <laughs> well, watch your credit card's gonna call out, hey, man. Um, I don't know if this Wendy's order is yours. We see eleven forty nine for the past six months, but now dude, it's twelve something. What the hell dude, is wrong? I, I, yeah, the, the Taco Bell could literally be ringing my credit card in every like once a week, and fucking die. I, I, I wouldn't know Taco Bell like my my credit card wouldn't know. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, no, no, the uh, the so like I think with Wendy's, my my usual go to. Is I, I like the baconator, and then I go with a they like said the crispy chicken sandwich. I I think they're crisp. I'm a big, I like the McChicken, but every time I have a McChicken, I feel like ass afterwards. I always feel like like for the next three four days after, I feel like I'm like I feel gross. I feel like with Wendy's, it, it just feels a little bit more fresh. Uh, the fries taste a little bit more fresh. Like yeah, I get it. Like sometimes you know the extra salt with the. Uh, McDonald's fries that like, gives you a little extra, a little, little. <laughs> but um, I don't know, dude. I just I think the Wendy's fries are just significantly better. I I like I said, it's it's kind of like I'm up for grabs every now and then. Sometimes yeah. I want the Wendy's one. Sometimes I want McDonald's. Not really big on Burger King because I know, literally have both of them say, right down the street. All have in common, nobody here is a Burger King guy. <laughs> I I actually that's... like Whoppers. I love Whoppers. I grew oh, up on sorry. them. You're... I grew up on. You're them. allowed. You're... You're allowed to have wrong opinions. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I literally live behind a Taco Bell, and we go there maybe, maybe once every three months. That's because, like I said, you're entitled to your wrong opinions. I mean, everybody's, yeah, I know everybody's, everybody's entitled listen. to be wrong. Everybody's entitled to be wrong. Some people, some people want to use Apocalypse and Room Five. Other people don't go to Taco Bell. They're both the same type of awful people, but like, hey, it's it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But all, all right. right, all right, all right, uh, man. Zero. We've been all right, chat. Yes, we've been. We 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 were here on the hot seat with Rich on ships, busting his balls about everything. But hey, it, I gotta admit, I you know what? Like this was actually. To be fair, though, I, I gotta be honest with you. Um, and we've been here for for a bit, and um, this is the least amount of ball busting I've ever gotten. I mean, it was more of a Twitch yeah. Time. I was waiting for more questions out of chat to be like, all right, they're going to ask some really off the wall shit that we've, that we haven't heard from, from any other streamer or where, whenever you're on or whatever we haven't, we, we really didn't. I mean, juice asked a couple, but yeah, but it's, you know, we, we, we covered, we covered the dick piercings, but yeah, we covered um, it, but no, no, but I think, uh, I think, I think what's funny. It's like, it's so, you know, it's like, I'm so constantly, uh, like I said, it's it, it's such a constant thing of just being like, you know, to 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 be ber- not berated. I don't want to use like a negative term there, but it's just like it's such a constant uh, level of <laughs> fuck rich. 
that it's like you know it's, <laughs> like when, when i'm like so like once again like i'm always in the hot seat so it's uh <laughs> i'm Roll. always in the hot seat so like when i'm actually in the hot seat it's just kind of like feels like home you know it's like <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a natural habitat you know it's <laughs> like did it fit did like once it got to like the 45 minute mark did it feel different like wow this is this is not really the the hot seat roasting that I was expecting a little while ago, but oh shit! No, but I, I mean, like, I think, like, I think as many, like, you and many people know, like, it's hard to get to me. Like, it, it's hard to, like, kind of pierce the skin. Like, it's it, you could sit here and you could, like, you know, you could have been making fun of my grandmother the entire time I was here, and I would have rolled with it. I mean, it's just like, it's... <laughs> the... what what I'm trying to say is, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, we we all know, and like, you know, I think. Like, dude, we had somebody come into my stream earlier today. I think this was this was so funny. It was, I just, sorry, sorry to keep dragging on, but the uh, somebody came into my stream earlier when they're like, so uh, I get a question, like, why does everybody shit on you so much? Like, is there, is there like some animosity between you and everybody? And I'm just like, and I like, I just, I laughed and I'm like, oh, buddy, I'm like, he's like, I'm sorry for asking. I didn't want to bring, I'm like, no, no I'm like, thank you for asking because I'm like, it, it was kind of funny. I'm like, there's not everybody that understands uh, the dynamic between me and most of you guys and like, uh, or, or the dynamic between all of us together. And like, so it was just kind of funny having somebody from the outside who like didn't fully get it. And they're like, like, dude, I don't mean to be mean, but like, you know, are you like, are you like, okay? And I'm like, I'm like, Oh God. I'm like, dude, I'm like, you don't understand. Like we're, we're, this is, this is, this is whole, this is a whole yeah, fucking, a uh, yeah whole it's that dynamic now. it's a dy dynamic for it and everybody yeah. everybody knows how to take a joke it, well, at least at least the ones that at least the, at least the guys we know we, we all know how to take a joke we can all run with it we're we're fine with it and it, it and it's just like that's the dynamic we are but when new when when new people come in they're just like oh my god what the fuck is happening why are they just going like all ape shit yeah. on them like whoa hold they hold on bro if you can handle a joke you could stay here but if you can't handle a joke then this might be too much yeah yeah, well, I think it's you know it's. I don't want I don't want to say that I play a play a role, but you know, like my 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 life, like you know, like even even like my sister and like my family, like you know, I'm always the I'm always the butt of the joke, but I also do a very good job of not only being that role, but also like, you know, I, I was striving in it, you know, like I kind of uh, <laughs> I I may or may not instigate certain things, you know, and may or may not uh push push the narrative a little bit, like. When sometimes when people are nice to me, I'm kind of like, "Fuck's wrong with you?" Like, <laughs> come on, like, come on, come on, work with me here. Like, I can't, can't have this going on here. I can't, 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 can't yeah, ruin my rep here. You know, no. Can't, I don't know how to be nice to you, bro. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say some off the wall shit and run with it or not. And then they give you a nice compliment, and you're like, "Fuck, this ain't working out. This is not yeah, working out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try harder to be mean, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Try fucking harder. All right, man. But all right, man, we are going we are gonna wrap this up. Thank you for being on the hot seat, Rich, even though it didn't really feel like a hot seat. Felt um, yeah, actually dude. it was for I think I think MSF hey, got burned more burn more today hey, than everybody I, else. Hey, when I stand up from your hot seat, your hot seat is gonna have burns on it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. yeah. Your Hopefully there are no new people seat, here. <laughs> your hot seat can't live up. Your hot seat can't compete with the heat that comes from Rich on Chips' ass. Oh, oh I, I, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, make sure to check uh, out Rich on Chips on Twitch. Um, he does have Discord. You, if you definitely, uh, I believe, what is it? Is it uh, Dick? Is it exclamation point Dicks on Taco Stream? Or what's exclamation point Dick. You can send me a dick pic. Yeah. It's uh, you can send a dick pic. Go ahead, send him a dick pic. Make sure it's real. Don't be fucking taking those ones off of Google or whatever. Yeah. You damn no, sure like, take the time to do yeah. it. Don't don't be like Rello where he drew a dick and then fucking uh, send it to me like no like listen it's two things either real dicks or Richard Nixon and there's no in between no in between make sure to send it soon people all right well thank you for, thank you for being on brother man it was fucking hilarious but uh, I'm gonna I, we're gonna head out from the from from the hot seat so until the next one y'all we're rolling out man later <laughs> rolling <laughs> yep we're rolling damn it boom we are. Oh, I... No.